Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about a cool OSINT as well as a bug bounty tool which is named as BWiggle. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the relevant links are in the description below. And also, if you find this video helpful, make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff. So, coming to this video, so this video is about a search engine, so which is basically for the applications, mobile applications to be precise. So, we have something like Play Store uh, for Apple, you have Apple Store, like these are the two main contenders for apps, right? And uh, you can use this application to find some sensitive information as well as like you can even look out for some sort of privacy sort of stuff as well. So first of all, go to this bwiggle.com, uh, bwiggle, bwiggle, whatever your pronunciation may be. So go ahead, I'll be telling it like bwiggle. So anything is fine. So just sign up because you'll have more features. And also you have like uh, application on uh, Google Play Store as well. Like you can go and check it out there. Again, okay, this is not a paid promotion by any sort. So Google Play Store is like uh, what you say is a store where you can install a lot of applications. Like there are people who sideload the applications. That's a different case. But as of now, we'll be discussing about some stuff. So for example, let's go and check with something like Twitter. Because Twitter is an application, mobile application, you'll have it on like everything. So you get some applications uh, which are related to the Twitter. So only this one is it related to Twitter, uh, like uh, a straightforward application on the Twitter in the mean. Like these are some like third party uh, contenders or some sort of stuff like that. So for here you can see there is some information like how many downloads. These are like pretty normal stuff. You can go through this permissions section and you can see what permissions that uh, that this uh, application require like it can access the Wi-Fi state uh, receive boot completed or phone state record audio like these are all the uh, what you can say permission sort of thing like if you want to install some application on your phone and uh, for example you are like pretty much into this privacy sort of stuff like you can go through this application and you can uh, go and check this stuff out okay like uh, these camera and stuff like uh, in the sense like you can only access it when you give the permission okay the location and all this stuff but the green stuff are like it can access by default you don't need to give any per, uh, permissions or sort of stuff like that okay and that is one thing and here you can see a, a something called as a security rating as well as like you can click over this view report so it will open a new tab and this security rating or this report or whatever it is like it's really good enough like you can go through this vulnerability section like as of now, Twitter always stays up to date. So there won't be much vulnerabilities out there. Like you can go through the strings and you can see some strings in the sense like this, uh, this uh, application is written using Java. Okay. So you will see some sort of like uh, words or sort of stuff. You can see like this string, it is trying to find out some sort of uh, key sort of thing. So unknown high entropy string. So it's like, it is telling like, it is like a uh, valuable, but it doesn't know what it is. So sometimes you can find out the API keys as well. So I'll show you in the upcoming uh, part. So you can see the manifest scanner and you can see the assets. Okay. Like what are all the assets it has and some sort of stuff like malware, whether it is having any malware or not. Okay. Like you can see these days, uh, even on the Google play store, you'll find a lot of malware these days. Like if you want in those manners also you can check that out. And about the act section, you can go through the permissions, which we already seen. Okay. Safe in the sense like green, a uh, dangerous in the sense like system alert window. So I don't know what exactly this means, but uh, if you click over here, like you can see uh, what it actually means, like application overlay sort of thing, like it can do some sort of uh, management on your screen as well. So which can be some sort of dangerous because it can access or it can view what you're doing as well. So you can see the app data, like, uh, uh, what is the app data it act what are all the activities it has like it within the source code this analyzes the source code okay you can see the trackers okay uh, there will be trackers but it is not showing up here uh, what are the third party libraries that are using so some sort of stuff like that so that is one good thing and now let's go and see there are some lot of loan apps these days so loan apps in the sense like if you are not from india like these applications are like they give you loan amount okay some sort some specific amount of loan amount and they harass you for paying you a lot of em and sort of stuff so for example let's go and find something uh thing 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस पे रूपिक इंस्टेंट पर्सनल लोन लाइक इट लुक्स सस्पीशियस फॉर मी बाई डिफॉल्ट सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस थिंग लेट्स सर्च हियर यू कैन सी इट इज अवेलेबल एंड द रिपोर्ट इज गुड ओवर हियर लाइक यू कैन सी द परमिशन वॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ परमिशन इट इज यूजिंग लाइक सम सॉर्ट ऑफ परमिशन एंड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टफ लाइक दैट सो लेट्स गो बैक आई ऑलरेडी कॉपीड एन एप्लीकेशन बैक देन सो या पेड ए लोन्स सर्च सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑल दीज आर लाइक सॉर्ट ऑफ पेड ए लोन्स और सॉर्ट ऑफ स्टफ लाइक दैट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट्स ओपन दिस थिंग द सिक्योरिटी रेटिंग इज रियली लेस सो दैट आई कैन शो यू समथिंग okay so if you go over to the vulnerabilities section you can see what are all the value uh, vulnerabilities and you can see what what are the matched files as well like you can go over there and you can check this code as well okay like uh, in bug bounty or stuff you do some sort of like uh, static analysis of this application mobile application or any sort of application so this be uh, be vigil like helps you in doing that as well for you like you can see some ssl pinning by app and some sort of stuff as well like you can go through and check and the strings you can see a public secret detected so you go can go over there and you can see some google api keys a uh, crash reporting so these are not much valuable but sometimes it can be really useful okay so it, if it's uh, better to keep uh, check check of all those stuff and uh, some sort of stuff like what assets it has like uh, it, whether it is malware or not uh, some sort of stuff some sort of compilers and based stuff i don't know i'm not much into this app development but maybe you guys may know it but i don't know much about that and you can see that uh, some permissions like write settings so it allows application to read and write the system settings note so Uh, which may be some sort of uh, what you say uh, risky in the sense here so you can see the app data trackers you can see there are a lot of trackers for this like for facebook analytics in the sense like you can uh, think of it as like uh, ad sense ad space stuff so some third party libraries and some sort of stuff so this is how guys like uh, you can use this be wiggle like uh, for osin purpose like for example like you are choosing some bug bound uh, bug bounty program or you are doing pen testing for some sort of company like you can go quickly to this website and you can check some information like readily available information like you don't even need to uh, review the source code or sort of stuff so this tool will help you doing that and it also has api and sort of stuff so you can you can even upload any application if you want to like scan app okay so uh, like you can uh, add a, like if you have like as i told you right so there is something called a side loading as well like some open source application so these days open source applications also consisting of some malware so you can just put over here and it is going to show you what are all the vulnerabilities and sort of like tracking everything going on like we seen in the past so that is it guys this is a small video like uh, if you really end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you